Okay, I've just tried starting the car up after about maybe three days of not driving it and the starter's cranking speed has reduced dramatically and I think this is because the battery's charge is being uh, depleted um, close to the point that um, it's going to struggle to start the vehicle. So. I've stopped the sequence and I'm going to try it again and I'm not sure whether it's still going to be as slow as it was earlier but let's have a go. Oh my goodness, it has failed to start. Let's try again. Oh ho ho, brilliant. Right, I'm going to go out to the, the boot to take my jump start uh, power bank and hook it up. Thankfully, I've got one of those. Right, thankfully, I've got one of these in the boot. I know my uh, car is a manual and I could have push started it, but um, there isn't much of a slope here and I don't want to cause any scratches to the paintwork while pushing it so I've got one of these in the boot this is a lipo jump start uh, pack and um, it says here it's rated at 38,000 milliamps it's definitely wrong I've measured this using um, uh, doing a performing discharge analysis and it only um, produced about 2600 milliamp hour I think but the main uh, thing to remember is that it takes very little energy to start a vehicle up. In fact, if you've got 200 milliamp hour or even 150 milliamp hour, you, you will be able to start a vehicle up. But what you need is, of course, very high amounts of power. So you need a um, high discharge rate, which LiPo batteries will give you. So um, this button here basically turns on the, the battery gauge plus if you click it it changes the output voltage so you can power your laptop with this via the output uh, jack most laptops run on 19 volts anyway plus if you double tap it you get um, LED touch lights and uh, SOS lights and funny things like that the electronics don't really work very well so I can't get the LED light on Oh, there we go. Press it and hold it. Alright, so what's important here is this uh, port here. Uh, I can't remember what this connector is called now. I think it's an EC5. Right, so I'm going to hook this up to the boxer's uh, battery now so that I can start it up. Okay. So that is, uh, I've turned the uh, system on. Now, and just before I start it up, I'm going to connect to the ECU to check the voltage. So I'll do that. So I took a voltage reading via the ECU, but it showed up at 11. 3 volts and then fell down to 11.2 volts when I had the power bank connected and ever since I disconnected the power bank I'm not able to get a voltage reading and I think it's because uh, some of the systems in the vehicle have already shut down due to the low voltage to the point that none of these things work and to give you an idea of what I'm talking about you can see that the lights on the dash don't behave the way they should if I just turn it on See, they all flicker like that. Um, normally, the lights there would remain on. The battery light is glowing really dim. There we go. So, we can see the battery light is a lot dimmer. Now, normally, you can hear the air conditioning. The fan is running very, very, very slowly. Normally, you see lights here. Now, the clock is flickering. And I'm hearing clicks. You can hear that tap, 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 tap. Now before any of this 
causes any damage to the vehicle, I'm going to jump start it. So I've now got the power bank hooked up once more. And this time I'm going to start the vehicle up and I'm not going to mess about anymore. Okay. Auxiliary. Now we can tell that there is power because the steering lock moved a lot quicker. The head unit powers up. The clock still uh, is the correct time. And all the lights on the dash are on now. We don't see the battery light uh, being uh, dim. Alright, anyway, let's not mess about anymore. I'm going to start the vehicle up. So I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the power. Right, as you can hear, the boxer's engine is now running. Um, so I just disconnected the power bank and uh, closed the bonnet and now um, it turns out that the jump start uh, procedure has damaged the electronics in this power bank because um, none of this work anymore. I've tried turning the power off and back on again, but still as you can see when I press this button, the LEDs don't light up, nor does the uh, lights in front. Um, which is a shame really, but the main thing is it will still jump start the vehicle because that takes a direct connection to the battery through there. And although I'm not sure whether the charger, the built-in charger still works, but at least I'll be able to charge this externally. Uh, through a direct connection to the batteries from, from that port there using a, a lithium polymer bus charger. Okay, so I've been driving for about 20 minutes. Here's how well it does now. So that's, that's very hopefully I won't get stranded out tonight. But even if I do, I've got that uh, jumpstart power bank with me. Anyway, right, thanks for watching.